Oh, flipping act, don't do that to me. Putting out rubbish used to be a simple domestic task. You're a hell of a scary old bird, missus. You two have made it more like sticking your head up above the trenches during the First World War. What? That house is shaking so much. We smoked had it jumped off the table. You should have killed it first, love. <laughs> I am not your love. I am an elderly, frail woman, frightened out of her wits by two sledgehammer-wielding yobs. Oi! When's it going to stop all this row? <laughs> Great! Stereo! Have they got planning permission for all this? Ah, uh, I'm really sorry I will get all this noise stopped right now. That's when you put up notices, isn't it, for planning permission. You know your stuff, love. Oh, I'm nobody's fool. I watch all the makeover programs. Right, well, I tell you what, I will sort this out now. And I'm so sorry you've been disturbed. It will not happen again. Sorry to disturb you, Blanche. Ten minutes under the shower to get the bricks out of my hair. Sorry. Oh, you're both very sorry. I'll give you that. I haven't got planning permission, you know. Mom. Two half-witted labourers wielding sledgehammers. They apologised, and that is the end of it. They're insured, are they? These uh, demolition experts. None of our business, either way. Well, of course, if you don't want the council sniffing around, you could tell your so-called builders to fix the dodgy roof in our backyard. Sorry, the coal house. Oh, uh, right. Mum, stop it. Just take no notice of her. If the council does come around and you're still working, it's going to be terribly expensive. Legal fees and all. No, we, we, we'll fix it. Not necessary, really. Won't cost much, just be a couple of days' work and, and it'll be fine. I'll, I'll get the money from tomorrow's banking and, and, and we'll do it, yeah? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Right, well, come on, Mrs. Let's, uh, let's get going. Right. Good night, Deirdre. Good night, Liz. How could you do that? What? Blackmail them like that. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Oh, threatening them with the planners if they don't fix our coal house roof. That is blackmail. Pretty devious, Blanche. I work for the planning department. I know that. That's what's making them sweat. Any work they do for us could be seen as a bribe. Oh, that's right. Throw it back in my face. I don't know why I even try if this is all the thanks I get. 